The Ministry of Defense has said that the emergency financial powers of 300 crore rupees allocated to the armed forces for quick purchase of weapon systems are not for imports from foreign countries, and dozens of proposals are under discussion with Indian companies. Officials have said that one of the proposals under discussion is a new tactical surface-to-surface -surface missile of 250 km range that will be fully indigenous and exponentially cheaper than the BrahMos missile, which will be a first-of-its-kind project proposed to be developed by the private sector firm Economic Explosives Limited. The ministry is also reviewing a proposal by Economic Explosives Limited for 150 km range guided Pinnaker rockets. Another proposal being reviewed is for armed variant of medium-altitude high-endurance drones, that is already being manufactured by Adani Elbit Advanced Systems India Limited, which will be more than 60% cheaper than the American Predator. Officials also said that Indian firm Botlab Dynamics is in advanced stages of developing a 3,500 swarm drone system, and has also submitted proposals for unique systems like disposable drones that can be used for quick surveillance by special forces. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has launched the third stealth frigate Aragiri that has been built under Project 17A, and the frigate will be delivered to the Indian Navy in August 2025. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders and Garden Reach Shipbuilders are building seven Project 17A frigates for the Indian Navy, and both the shipyards are in talks with the Navy for repeat orders for seven more frigates in 2023. Mazagin Dockyard has also announced that it will construct a new floating dry dock, which will be capable to construct next-generation destroyers of 15,000 tons. Garden Reach Shipbuilders is developing multi-role unmanned surface vessels that can offer an interim solution to the Navy's shortage of mine sweepers. The mine hunting unmanned naval surface vehicles will have over 60% level of indigenization and will be cheaper as compared to mine sweeper ships. The unmanned surface vessels will have a range of 50 km and endurance of 4 days, and it can also be used for electronic warfare. The Midani Group will operationalize its new armoring facility in 2023, that will undertake armoring of helicopters, naval platforms and other similar equipment, and will also provide personal protection and group protection equipment to the defense forces. The plant has been spread in 10 acres, and is equipped with water jet cutting technology, plasma cutting technology, autoclaves, forming machines and composite molding presses, to undertake variety of manufacturing processes. The Indian Army Chief flew a sortie in the Apache attack helicopter of the Indian Air Force in Ladakh, and he was also briefed about the features and characteristics of the attack helicopter that is set to start induction in the Indian Army from 2023 onwards. The Army's Aviation Corps will send its pilot and ground staff to the US by end of 2022, for training to operate and maintain the Apache. India is also discussing the purchase of 11 more Apache helicopters, that will also go to the Indian Army. The Indian Army's infantry soldiers deployed in Arunachal Pradesh have received SIG 716 rifles, Negev light machine guns, Carl Gustav Mark III rocket launchers, digital spotter scopes, fuel cell chargers for patrol, old rain vehicles and satellite terminals. The Army has also deployed M777 ultralight howitzers, upgraded L-70 guns and unmanned aerial vehicles in the region, 